Hello everyone. Good evening. Today I'm coming to do a short video recording on how to poetic wave mapping. Okay, so um we have um USD card one day chart material on there, one day chart. And see this is a clean chart that I've opened. And see it entails a whole lot of data here. First of all, um, let's see something small here. You can see um, we've been talking about corrective, 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 corrective. And you know, the mapping of corrective is not easy. It can sometimes be a bit difficult. But um, I can see a clear move here. So um, let me map, um, put this thing here for now. And place one more to here. Yeah, so you can see here to okay so you can map here as an impulse starting from here we can call here as a um, uh, one uh, two can be here three four five then let me take this thing off you can get um, here as a simple ABC, which can be in this channel, very small channel here. So um, let's name here A, B, C channel. Looks like this is um, a 535 structure. You can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. And we can get another 5 structure to here. 1, 2, Three, four, five. Yes, so this is a clear five, three, five formation. Five, three, five formation. And you can see there is an extension in this way to one, two, three, four, five. Of which you can change the color to any color of your choice too. Good. Yes, so now we have our five, three, five formation. Let's move on. Now we have um, this chart here to, um, you can see we have a strong down move to the downside, which is satisfy almost all the impulse rules and characteristics. And so we can level this as an impulse wave. And you see we have a whole lot of correction. Okay, so you digest it. But before, you know, market move, impulse, correction, impulse. Yes, so clearly we can say that we have a bigger A, B, C structure here. So now let's go into details and see what this bigger A, B, C entails. You know, this is just an import move that we can straight away level it uh, from 1, 2, um, 3, 4, 5, 2. Yes. But um, how about this structure? But before we go into details, what you can see is a very complex structure here. First of all, you put it into your channel like this. Yes and try to identify the various subdivisions one after the other yes that is only when or only how you will be able to break it into the level that you can get understanding Okay, sorry. So um, when you look at it here, you can see that uh, we have the first phase. When you call this whole area, you know this whole move was identified as A, the bigger A of which when you go into detail, you level the impulse structure. But you can see we have 
a three way move here. We have A, B, C. Let me make it small and probably change the color to, to this color to make it 50 feet. Okay, so you can see we have first 3BC, which is a three way move to the upside. And um, the next move to is another E, B, C, two structure. So now we have the first E. First E here. We have the second two as our B. And definitely this is going to be our C. But what does C entails? You can see here C is very choppy, it's not quite clear. But I think I can see this um, triangle like a diagonal form of pattern here. So I'll connect the two. And you can see there wasn't any form of overlapping here. Yes, so clearly we can use it. Yes. So um, we we'll level here as our one, two here, we place our three here, four can be here, our five can be here. So once that is done, now we can call this whole session from here up to here as a bigger e b c structure which is a flat a flat and you know for flat a flat is what a three three five formation three three five formation so now we are done with this circle here or this text box Good. and we have three move to the downside three move to the downside that is a b c a b c move to the downside then you can see we have one two three four five so here too is a very clear move that we can also join this together to get um, something like a leading diagonal or a diagonal form of pattern and so here to another one, two, three. Here is another three move. Um, A, B, C. And so what we can do is level here as one, two, three, four, and our five will be here. And call this area as a W, X, Y pattern. Or one can also decide to even use say an A B C to denote the structure to which is not formed. A B C two can also be used to denote um, the same structure here. And mind you, you are not wrong when you also do that. Yes, that can also hold. So now you can see we have this one to done the first E or the W is a five foot move. Got a three move down and a three move to the upside. So that one too is done. So this one will become a linking because it looks like um it is more complex. More complex than we think. Yes. So from there you can see um there is another three move to the downside that is a b c and there is another from here a b c to structure then another one here or two can be here or three can be here or four but this four does it overlaps let's check something here do you have any overlapping no so meaning the four can also be placed here nicely and let's try and change the color to so now you can see we have another three three five structure which is also a flat here so you can see this one from here up to this point also denotes another structure which is can be called a zigzag abc 
but you can clearly see we have um, here as a zigzag a flat form of pattern so now we have three one two three text box still counting or still breaking it to the downside um, we can see this uh, move to just put it in this channel and um, when you look at this clearly you can see some form of uh, by verify formation but i think the best illustration is just to use a simple abc structure yes and now my b is ready see how complex the b is yes complex structure so now i have one two three four meaning this is a triple tray form of pattern so let me join all together joining all together as one okay so what do we do now i'll go and pick my w x y z and since this is the end point of the 5355 five, five, please my w here no my w is going to be here here we'll pick the s and you know s can be any form of pattern and here we have a b c as our x so the whole of this test box is going to be the first y and another s can come here which is the three three five formation also here then the final zigzag as also the z so now my triple tray correction is ready or creative pattern is ready so let me take off my test box one by one taking this off one by one okay so now you see it is clear here just that there are a whole lot of things and sometimes we condone it just because we don't want to uh, make the chart look small something or a whole lot of things going on the chart that is why sometimes we ignore not going into details like this but this one is for educational purposes so i decided to go into details and get you every piece of it so now you can see we have first three three five as a bigger flat pattern a memo a name as abc pattern formation here we have our s to be three and we have a zigzag pattern here we have um, it can either be wsy or abc pattern which is all of it is cool and you can also level here you see we have um, 335 formation which is also a flat it's like this expanding or running for the sea is um, quite long and so here too it can be a b c yes if you go more you will be it's clear but this is it the a b c structure too and now finally we had it and you know after this complex um triple tray corrections i now move to the upside and this is also an impulse and this impulse mode was also five ways to the downside you can see we have our a pattern our a was here you see um point one and our three two is here and we had our four and five to the downside okay so um if you want to you can still go down here and break it and you are going to get an impulse leveling yes an impulse leveling so um, basically that is how you can break the chart and do your mappings with ease when you try to notice or identify the whole patterns one by one yes when take your time and find or note the various uh, patterns that we try to look for one by one you will be able to combine them together with ease like i've done just right now with um usd um, one day charts yes so um that is how we pick chart this is no magic you can also do it just keep doing what you do every day and make sure you follow the rules yes you don't breach any rules no matter where you find yourself whether you are mapping corrections or you are mapping um and impulse yes so that is it thank you very much for your time